Well, hey guys, I'm here at World's End State Park in Sullivan County, Pennsylvania. Doing some hiking here. Let's see what we can find on the Little Sock Trail, so come on with me. It's a little, a little steep in through here. Make you work for it. Now this trail is part of the World's End Trail, from what the ranger at the office was telling me. So, let's go on up through here and see what we can see. Now the Loyal Sock Trail, or LT, thinks I got these nice little yellow markers out. Doesn't help it rain the night before. So the ground's a little a little wet. Leaves are slippery, so the rocks. Hard to get good footing. I mean, that's, that's a view there. I'm not even halfway up the mountain. I mean, the idea how steep this train is here that we're dealing with. Called it World's End because back in the day, everybody thought the world ended here from an old horse trail that used to be in around here before they put present day Route 87 in. There's Loyal Sock Creek in the bottom. This trail will give you a workout, I will say that. down there at the bottom around the corner but it's a long trip back to the cabins yet at least it's gonna be all downhill on the way back Show you trees will practically just grow about anywhere, especially the pine trees. It's hard to get good footing. The rain's made this ground about as salt as wet grits. This guy gives you a better idea why they call it World's End. It just drops off the side. Kind of windy up here too today.
Boy, the Loyal Sock Creek's making a lot of noise today. Never heard her be that loud. But back in the 1800s, when the lumber industry was big, a lot of these pines were cut down and floated down the Loyal Sock to Montoursville, and then from Montoursville it went down to Marietta, Pennsylvania. You, you will break a sweat on this trail. And it's, it's something else. I should have packed a little bit lighter in my backpack. Huh, look at that. So there's a little cave right there. I'll be. Well, at least it's flattening out a little bit. Down there's Route 87 in the beach. Down there, World's End State Park. Oh. I'm sorry guys, if you hear me sniffling in a little bit, I'm just getting over cold. I figured the best way to do it is try to sweat it out of my system. Wow. A lot of storm damage in here. Wow. Forces of Mother Nature, guys. It's unbelievable. Oh, there's a trail marker way up there. Looks like the trail's blocked this way. So I guess we'll go this way. Well, here we are. World's End Trail and Loyal Sock Trail. Loyal Sock and World's End goes that way. And this World's End goes that way. Well, what we just came up over was the joining trail for World's End Trail. But let's hike on up the Loyal Sock Trail some further. See what we can find. At least it's flat. I don't complain about that. Look how small that car is down there. Wow. We are a ways up.
Another LT marker. Oop, that's a rock there. Makes you sweat a little bit. You know? Sweating's a good thing though. Get all that bad gunk out of your system. Got my good camera at home, so I have to use my cell phone. Sorry about the bad video quality. The only bad part is about this trail is that steep part coming up. Once you get up here, it's not bad. In that view, though, wow. A lot of storm damage, too. Now, what I was saying earlier about the World's End Trail. And this was the horse path originally coming into Boyle Sock Valley. I mean, it drops off over here pretty good, straight down. But this is the trail that the early pioneers coming into this area would follow. Sorry about that, I'm just taking my coat off. It's a little warm hiking this trail when you're wearing flannels and a sweatshirt, plus a Carhartt coat on top of that. Runs a little swampy. Falls melted out of the ground. Slippy there. Very swampy here. Wow. All right, guys, I'm gonna conclude this here. I will I will get back to you when I get back into the bottom of the, the campground of World's End State Park. Catch you then.